Thank you for clicking on this KTCI News Brief. Here are the stories we're following right now. Iowa State officially introduced their new men's head basketball coach Friday morning. TJ Otzelberger joins the Cyclones from UNLV. Otzelberger says he knows there will be challenges ahead, but he's focused on building a winning team. I'm in a place of saying um, we're going to be about daily habits. We're going to outwork people every day. We're going to build it the right way and what success is to somebody else or how they gauge that I can't control. But what I can control is that nobody's going to outwork us. Nobody's going to have more passion and nobody's more excited to get to work. If you build it, it'll come right. This is Iowa after all. Otzelberger is a familiar face in Ames. He worked as an assistant coach for eight years and his wife, Allison Lacey, also played basketball for Iowa State. The Drake Bulldogs are celebrating a big win in the NCAA tournament. Their win over Wichita State is the Bulldogs' first tournament victory in 50 years. The Bulldogs now face USC this Saturday at 3.30 on TNT. And Hawkeye fans are also getting ready for Saturday. The number two seed will take on the Grand Canyon Antelopes at 5.25 on TBS. You can count on KCCI to bring you all the highlights and reaction during March Madness. Now the latest on COVID-19 in Iowa. In the latest 24-hour time frame, the Iowa Department of Public Health reports 667 new cases, making the total statewide more than 331,000. IDPH also reports an additional six deaths. More than 5,600 Iowans have died since the pandemic started. And more Iowans continue to get vaccinated. The state reports more than 1.1 million forced doses have been administered. Of those, more than 415,000 have completed their two-dose vaccinations. And more than 31,000 have received the single dose of the J&J &J vaccine. The Iowa Supreme Court says Jason Carter is liable for the death of his mother, Shirley Carter. In 2017, Carter's father, Bill, sued Jason in civil court for Shirley's death. A jury awarded Bill Carter $10 million. This new opinion affirms that 2017 judgment. This is separate from the 2019 criminal case where Jason Carter was acquitted in his mother's death. Shirley Carter's body was discovered inside her Marion County home in June of 2015. A suspicious package closed off part of East 5th Street in Des Moines Friday morning. The custodian of the Blazing Saddle saw a man outside the bar acting suspicious and was making racist and homophobic remarks. He says the man told him he had a delivery and left a box outside of the bar. Well, the bomb squad was called in and quickly discovered the box was not a threat. It was like about six years ago, five, six years ago when we had an envelope delivered here with white powder in it. And so, and with everything else that's been going on, oh, for sure, for sure. That's why I called the police right away. And the street was closed for a little more than an hour. This weekend is going to be beautiful. Bree has an update on our forecast. It was chilly this morning, but temperatures are going to head into those low to mid 50s this afternoon. The winds will remain light all through the afternoon, even through the overnight. Lots of stars tonight as those temperatures drop off in the upper 20s, low 30s. Take a look at our weekend. Temperatures are going on up 60 on Saturday, 65 on Sunday. There will be much more cloud cover on Sunday and those winds will be strong gusts up to 35 miles per hour. Taking a look, we have got very quiet conditions today and tonight, and then we're going to scoot on over to Indiana because a lot of eyes. We've got bulldogs, we've got hot guys playing there tomorrow and they're going to have sunshine throughout. Bulldogs play first at 3:30, and then those hot guys tip off at 5:25. Now we're going to turn our attention back to Iowa. We've got some stuff going on. Just the cloud cover moving in Saturday night into Sunday. Partly sunny skies on Sunday again with that wind, so just be aware of that. And then as we head into Monday, that's when the rain's going to move in. It'll be in western Iowa to begin the day, move into central Iowa by the end of the day, and most of the heavy rainfall will fall Monday night in through the day Tuesday before the system wraps out on Wednesday. Wednesday and then things dry out from there. Bright and sunny today, not worried about the rain. 54 for that high, so a little bit above average. Temperatures will be pretty seasonable tonight. The average low is 31. We'll be at 30 with those stars overhead. Eight day forecast shows that beautiful weather coming in for the weekend. Tomorrow's the first day of spring. It will feel much like it. And then we'll see some showers come in, some spring showers, hopefully bringing in some May flowers. And then we'll see the uh, drier conditions move in for the end of next week. A lot to look forward to. Happy spring. And thanks for watching this KCCI News Brief. Have a great day.